In this morning's Project Safe Schools Silent Cry for Help series, I'm taking you inside the classroom, looking at what your child's teachers mandated to do if a student shows signs of poor mental health for years. State lawmakers have been trying to pass legislation to curb the rise of teen suicide, and they say it starts with educators. Now, after failing to pass previous suicide prevention bills, hope lingers with the passage of Senate Bill 21. Right now, suicide is the second leading cause of death in the country for uh, young people 10 to 21 years of age. A statistic no parent wants their child to be a part of. But the reality is youth suicide rates are on the rise, increasing across the nation by about 40 percent. Here in Oklahoma, the state's youth and young adult suicide report shows rates are up 100 percent since 2007. It's a, a problem that's grown and it just seemed like the right time to, to make it mandatory. Senator Kay Floyd talking about mandatory suicide prevention training for school districts. It's legislation she tried to introduce five years ago. The first year I could not get it through because we had put mandatory training of our teachers on suicide prevention programs uh, in the bill. So I had to take the mandatory proponent out. She changed the language a bit, throwing out the word mandatory, replacing it with may be taught. Some schools across the state implemented the training, but Senator Floyd says others just weren't interested. Fast forward five years and the issue of youth suicide only got worse. Senator Floyd decided to try again with Senate Bill 21. So I went back, um, tweaked the language a little bit, talked to Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services, let them know what we were going to do by making it mandatory training. It's this type of bill giving hope to mothers like Melissa Solaji, who lost her son in 2019. 15 year old Nate Solaji expressed thoughts of suicide in a school essay. But Melissa says while the teacher told her her son had dark thoughts, the teacher never reported a mention of suicide to the school. Nate died by suicide and his mother discovered his essay on his phone after he was gone. So I don't know if you can ever do enough, but I think it's a it's a big piece in the puzzle. Senate Bill 21 was signed by Governor Kevin Stitt last month, which now mandates teachers in every school district to receive one hour of training every two years to recognize and prevent suicide. The cost free. The Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services has provided the coursework free of charge to all the districts. If the school district makes a determination that they want to have more training, maybe two hours every two years or one hour every one year. Uh, the school districts have total discretion on that. As the state faces a mental health crisis in teens, the State Department of Education says the hope is to implement more training with the bill in place and see a decrease in the rate of teen suicide. Rebecca Hubbard, an adjunct assistant clinical professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at Oklahoma State University's Center for Health Sciences, says parents and peers can play a role in suicide prevention too. You're going to look for significant mood changes. I mean, these are really significant and maybe um, pervasive. So maybe they were normally a happy, outgoing, happy kid, playful, and suddenly they're angry, frustrated, withdrawn. Hubbard says it's essential to check on your child's mental health the same way you would check on their physical health. And mental health lies within the brain, and that's no different than our heart or our stomach. It's an organ that can struggle, and it's an organ that needs to be treated if it's struggling. She adds it's vital to be considerate and thoughtful about your child's mental health and always know it's okay to seek help. Well, legislators say they're going to track the progress of the mandated training in schools, and if things don't get better and the numbers don't trend downward, they say they'll work harder to do more and introduce a program that works. If you or someone you know is struggling and needs help, visit our website, kdrh.com, for a list of resources.